What's up, guys? We're going to be playing WWE 2K20, my Perimo, Chapter 13. Here we go. Alright, guys, I'm back. We've seen plenty of live action in WWE history, but none of them like this with a script for the action film. Rank and file four has been suspended above the ring in a point case. Whoever climbs the ladder and retrieves the script first will win both the match and the starring role. It's a travesty of justice that Chris doesn't even have to go through something like this to get a role that should have already been his. He's one of the greatest actors of all time. I don't know about that, but I do know that this lights, camera, action, ladder match is going to be a smash hit with audiences and critics worldwide. Saxon, why don't you treat this like we're at the movies? No talking. Again, it seems to be working for him. His offense is on point right now. He is just dominant right now. Launched with a belly to belly. On the corner strike. And this is in the corner. In the corner you go. Strike. Trey hammers Miz in the corner. Oh wow. Why did she come out? It's Brooklyn Bonzon. Why did she come out? Come on, man. Stop her. So she can have a legitimate star in the movie. And here's Red to stop from spoiling this match. Yep. This is pure jealousy. There you go. Red couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out. All right, let's focus That's on ridiculous. our match. She's only out here to help her friend, Trey. And it appears she's been able to accomplish that. Red has neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Cut, cut. There's no cutting in this Skull. match. Just win by grabbing a few keys. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in mind here. Launched with a belly to belly. Bringing it back between the ropes. I don't know. You know what my favorite part of SummerSlam is? Everything. Oh, the reversal by the Miz. stars who had their first exposure on our reality competition tough enough for the biggest star to emerge from the franchise has to be the Miz. Yeah what's crazy about that season is that the Miz was runner up but WWE officials saw something in the future A-lister and he trained for years before breaking through to WWE properly. The ladder is up, up, up and away. I brought up Miz's Tough Enough beginnings before, but I must commend as a judge on Tough Enough in 2015. In his first episode as a judge, he saved Mandy Rose from elimination. Who would eliminate Mandy Rose? Uh, even though he was called a judge I, on that show, the Miz had a lot reach. of to impart to that season's talent. Few folks Rap. know what it's like to grow from Rap. reality star to WWE champion, but Rap. the Miz does. Try to seek a victory here. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. <laughs> what arrogance on display by the men. Just ruthless. Big reversal. Execution by the Miz. Oh man! Ouch! Launch with a belly to belly. Oh, dude! He really wanted me to go there, man. Yep. Guess he wanted me to go there. Can't get over the physicality of this match. It has been absolutely brutal. Yep, he really. 
you want me to go there? This has been a game of survival so far in this ladder match. These men are absolutely amazing. Great guts, courageous, brave, fortitude as the prize hangs 20 feet above the ring. I got that one here. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. And he's heading back in. Look at this, Byron, getting that ladder position. Perfectly placed, if you ask me. Nice right hand. Here we go. Going to try to win it right here. Ooh, uh, having some trouble getting it down. Go help him, Byron. Right. He beat a future Hall of Famer in a pressure filled Done. high stakes ladder match at the biggest party in the summer. The the miss. Concern, Trey deserves the role and all the stuff. That's nice, but as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file court. Sorry, Brooklyn. I'll just have to catch you in your next bit. Let's go. We'll be right back. Change some stuff for Ooh. Next chapter. Alright guys, I'm back. Continue story with the Iconics. Sorry, I had an adjustment. Camera guys. All the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow, didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> really? Because that's not how I remember it. Check it out! My first action figure! Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail on your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's like even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day!
Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freak jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I'd team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. Crazy. That's how you gotta face Rusev. See you after the match. It's like I won, guys. Hold on, guys. See you in the next cussing. Even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work. Because let's be honest, if we've been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe. But it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey. You deserve it. Teams that with Mickey James. Interesting. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting-edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement or, unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Or what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win Women's Tag Team Championships with Mickey James. to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your host, The Iconic. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. We're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why Australia is Better. This is the part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket, which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. 
Wall one. A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. Trouble I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey. <laughs> because Nikki's so old. Get it? Hilarious. She really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before. So what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match. And I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay. So you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing. That a decade later, when that pathetic opponent raised her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three. Never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated Law 3. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. That's crazy. He's back. See you after this match. Alright, finally done. That match it that match lasted long. Wow. Cooper and Mickey James. Another exciting tag team match in the bus. Look out with his locker room. This girl is for real. See you at the cutscene. Was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter. We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag, or willy willy tag as we say down under. Hey Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes. You know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> OK, 
because that's the end guys see you in the next one